Green coffee is the second largest commodity treated all over the world. The first one is petrol. Uh, inside the coffee world we have two main coffee species that are grown in the uh, coffee producing countries. One is the most largest uh, uh, cultivated, is Arabica coffee. And the other one is Canephora. These two main species, Canephora, are cultivated in all coffee producing countries that are in, located in the tropic, tropical area of the planet. Uh, all over the world, all the coffee that it's produced, it's 60% uh, of the total amount Arabica species and 40% of the Canephora one. Uh, there are also two other species uh, cultivated, that it's Liberica and Excelsa, but are just 1% uh, of the total production. The main uh, coffee producing country is uh, Brazil. Uh, only Brazil is exporting every year uh, more or less one third of the total pro coffee production all over the world. Uh, the main species cultivated in Brazil is Arabica, but they are also cultivating a variety of the Canephora species that is called Conilon. Conilon is uh, similar to uh, Robusta, and so Robusta is another variety uh, of the Canephora species cultivated all over the world. Uh, I mentioned um, Conilon Robusta, that it's always uh, part of the Canephora uh, species, Robusta. About Arabica, the most famous and the most good into the cup uh, variety are Bourbon, Typica, Pacas, Maragogipe, and then cross between some varieties like Pacamara, that it's a cross between Pacas and Maragogipe, uh, Maracaturra, and so on. Uh, why all over the world uh, are cultivated mainly two different species? Canephora uh, grow and prefer low altitude coffee farms and Arabica prefer high altitude coffee farms. So, so it means that uh, uh, Canephora prefer more hot uh, temperature, more humidity, more water all over the year. Arabica prefer climates that are more cold, uh, less rain and uh, of course more excursion, temperature excursion between day and night. So this is uh, the reason because in some countries they are growing Arabica and in some other countries they are growing uh, uh, Canephora, it means Robusta. The main uh, coffee producing country all over the world that produce uh, uh, Robusta is Vietnam that it's the second Vietnam that it's the second largest coffee producing country all over the world and so where is the Brazil here the first one the second one and the third one it is in uh, South America and it is Colombia Colombia produce only uh, Arabica species uh, for example cultivars that are called uh, Colombia Castillo and uh, Catimor uh, which other main differences between Arabica and Canephora? I will say the caffeine content. Uh, regarding caffeine, Arabica has an average of 1.2% of caffeine. Canephora has the double one. So more or less we can say 2%. So when you are drinking a coffee, if you are drinking only Arabica coffee, you can drink double uh, amount uh, in taking the same quantity of caffeine. Um, I will say that we can say something regarding uh, the fruit of the plant, of the tree, of the coffee tree, that it's called the coffee cherry. I will draw here the section of the fruit. Inside the fruit there are two beans with uh, a flat face. This is the common situation uh, in a regular and normal uh, coffee cherry. Uh, this is the bean inside the fruit. 
um, there is a very thin layer just that it's attached to the bin that it's called silver skin and usually is going to uh, be taken out from the bin during the roasting process then we have uh, another layer that it's called parchment parchment uh, just attached to the parchment, we have a very light and uh, part of uh, the pulp of the fruit that it's called mucilage. Then we have the pulp. And at the end, of course, the external skin of the uh, coffee cherry. Usually, uh, the ripe cherries on the coffee tree are the, of a red color. Some uh, cultivars or variety are ripening their fruits in yellow color. So, for example, the Bourbon variety ripe uh, in red, but also in yellow. And uh, rarely you can also find the pink Bourbon but it's uh, not so common and rare but just to let you know uh, the colors that you can find in a coffee tree uh, just uh, seeing that the, the fruit is ripe these uh, are the common situation there is also uh, another situation where the there is only one bean inside the, the cherry in this case this bean it's called caracolito Colito or in English peaberry. Berry. And in some countries and in some uh, coffee varieties, uh, we have also the situation of three coffee beans inside the cherry. In this case, triangular beans. Uh, regarding the coffee producing countries, and how the, uh, the bean is processed in, in the coffee farms. I will just introduce the coffee processing methods. The most used all over the world is the uh, washed one and the natural one. The most, uh, natural, the most simplest one is the natural. So you do picking, it means you harvest the ripe cherries in, on, the, on the trees, so picking and then you let the whole cherries just dry under the sun so it's the most simplest one so immediately drying until reaching a moisture content of the coffee cherries of 12 percent washed it's a little bit more uh, complicated because it means you have always picking and it is important to pick the only the ripe cherries then you have the pulping. It means that you take out the skin and the pulp of the, of the fruit and uh, you are going to process only the bean in parchment with the mucilage. To take out the mucilage from the uh, external uh, skin of the parchment, you use a fermentation process that has the aim to take out all the mucilage. After that, you do channeling and then at the end, after channeling, drying. It's important to distinguish between these two methods because this coffee will be more sweet, more bitter, more budded. This coffee will be more acidic, more fruity and floral notes with less body compared to natural. At the end, for this lesson, I would like just to introduce coffee defects on green. Uh, during coffee processing in the coffee plantation could be that some phases of the coffee processing uh, is going to be wrong and so can produce uh, uh, some uh, green coffee defected beans. So the most important ones are the black and I will say full black beans. Uh, that will bring into the cup very uh, negative aroma and also a very strong and bitter taste. Then the full sour, sour beans that are the over-fermented uh, beans. Then we can have immatures. It means that are 
beans that comes from green coffee cherries. It means that were picked from the tree, not the ripe ones. And you can f uh, have also fungus attached beans. So are the beans that with a high moisture level were attached in the coffee plantation with, uh, uh, by fungus. So if you want a specialty coffee and if you want a very good cup profile for your coffee, you have to avoid to have these main defects in the green.